Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. So recently in the Power Ranger comics done by Boom Studios, Lord Draken has made his return, but he's no longer a lord, he's just simply Draken. And ever since Draken returned and he's sort of in his own series with the Omega Rangers, a lot of people have been asking, is Draken going to get a redemption story? Is there any redeeming qualities for this character? And will he turn from bad guy to good guy in the next couple of months moving forward in the comic? So do I think Draken will turn from good guy to bad guy at the end of his comic? I want to say no. Why? Because we've kind of already seen that story before in Green with Evil. We had the story of Tommy Oliver that was an evil ranger that turned good. Draken is his exact opposite and we don't need to see that story repeated because if Draken turned from bad to good, we'd basically be having another Tommy Oliver that's seen the error of his ways. And if you count the whole Tom Oliver clone that they did in Mighty Morph and Power Rangers Season 2 that the comics probably aren't gonna do, then that would be three Tommies who have seen the error of their ways and turned good. So we don't need Draken doing it again. But not only that, Draken and the original Tommy Oliver, they're two different people with how they chose their actions when they were bad. Tommy was brainwashed by Rita Repulsa and couldn't really control his actions. He couldn't stop what he was doing. Draken made his choice every step of the way, knew what he was doing, relished in it, and didn't look back. And he doesn't regret his decisions because even when revisiting the whole Shadow Grid dimension, he still thinks he did the right thing when he put everyone in that alternate reality where they lived a perfect life. And the whole best thing about Draken being with the Omega Rangers is he knows the people he's with, he knows how to get inside their head, he knows what makes them tick. And over the past couple of issues, we've seen that with several of the characters he's had conversations with, Trini, Zack and Jason, he knows what makes them tick and he's just trying to get inside their head to either make them turn on each other or plan his escape later down the line. And if Draken did have some kind of redemption arc, it's not going to be some kind of glorious purpose sacrifice. I think if Draken's going to go out, he's going to go out being a sneaky bastard, probably getting offed by one of the Imperials by trying to betray them. Because Draken, like I've mentioned in this video, he's only in it for himself. So whatever he's planning, whether he joins the good guys or joins the bad guys, or does his own thing, he's only in it for himself, and no doubt about it, he probably wants to rebuild what he lost when he had the Shattered Grid story arc going for him. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's his whole purpose, that the reason why he's sticking with the Omega Rangers is to get his powers back, which might be happening if you kind of keep up with the uh, comic previews for the next couple of months. So, do I think that Lord Draken is going to be redeemed and become a good guy? Like I said at the start of the video, probably not, because if Lord Draken becomes good with the Omega Rangers, he's got nothing to gain from him, he's got nothing in it for him, so Draken's in it just to save the universe, probably so he can keep trying to rule the universe or something like that, so Draken's in it mostly for himself, and whatever he's planning, is not good and we'll definitely be talking about it in future theory videos and future reviews of Power Rangers moving forward. So what do you think? Do you think Draken's going to turn good? Do you think he's going to stay evil? Do you think he's going to be this weird anti-hero in the background? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Special thanks to all the members such as Swagger4 and Andrew McCoyle. If you want to get your name shouted out like them, become a member on the Patreon or become a YouTube member on the channel. With that said, special thanks to them and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.